welcome to this video where we look at dyno tuning the Prado 120 with a 1K ZTE turbocharged diesel engine. The 1KZ in the Toyota diesel family is kind of like that uncle that's at every family gathering. Ever present, reliable, but somewhat a little bit slow on the uptake. In years gone by, this was fine. But in today's fast paced society, we need something with a little more oomph. And that's what we're going to try to achieve today. As this is the TE variant, the turbocharged electronically controlled uh, 1KZ, this means that we're going to use a piggyback processor to modify fuel and timing delivery, as the factory ECU is fitted with a one-time programmable ROM, read-only memory. So what this means is we can't easily reprogram or replace the memory inside the factory control unit in order to remap the engine. So with the piggyback and the chassis dyno, we're going to get the most that we can get out of this engine in standard form, meaning stock turbo, stock intercooler, and pretty pretty mild exhaust. It's got a dump pipe and, a, and an exhaust, but as we find out, that's not really um, the be-all and end-all in max power, but certainly helps with the spool up. So stay tuned, and let's see what we get. So we have a pretty good increase over standard, um, but how does that compare to something that's, say, a lot newer and a lot larger capacity? What I've done here is overlaid a VDJ76, uh, also coupled with a manual gearbox, and uh, we can see the results directly. So from about 2000 RPM all the way through to about 3500 RPM, we see there's heaps more torque there uh, available at the wheels. Briefly, uh, we're at the same torque and then the VDJ um, dr drops off rapidly with the um, 1KZ still maintaining uh, some torque. Now, the VDJ is totally standard, uh, so it's typically what you'd probably expect from a car like that. It's in good condition, uh, well maintained and so on. The interesting thing to note is with the VDJ, the uh, torque curve is relatively flat. Um, comes to uh, RPM at say 3600 and then it slowly defuels uh, as a form of engine RPM limiting. So there you have it. Tuned up 1KZ TE um, in a Prado 120 compared with um, a VDJ 76 stock standard. Now the other thing to point out here is that while the graphs um, show that it does make more power and it certainly feels that way on the road, the thing to keep in mind is that at, on the 1KZ you're pretty much at the limit of what uh, the engine can do in its current intercooler and turbo setup, whereas the VDJ still got a lot to go um, because it's in its totally standard uh, form and you get a lot of power from those things when they're tuned up. So in terms of long-term reliability and, and total engine life, um, over, the, over the years you'd probably find a lot less wear and tear um, as the kilometres rack up on a, on a VDJ than you would um, a Prado in this state of tune. But in perspective, it's certainly uh, going to last long enough for the, the rest of the vehicle, um, the chassis, the drivetrain and the rest of it. So that's where we're going to leave it for now until we add some more mods. Hope you enjoyed it and see you later.